Come on, man. What are you doing? You're sitting there daydreaming. We got a video to shoot. Come on, man. What do you mean? I got to take care of everything, plus keep up with you. The lazy brother. Come on, man. This is the Gerber Prodigy, made in Portland, Oregon. It has a rubber overmolded handle. It has a high carbon steel blade, full tang, real good weight. It's a pretty decent knife. I've been wearing it off and on for almost three months now, and it's done really good so far. I haven't taken it out and done specific tasks with it just to see if it would hold up, but I use it just like I do any other knife as needed. And it's been real good so far, cutting vines. And boy, there's a ton of those. You get your feet caught on them, traveling up and down the range here and through the woods. I like to uh, find these straight oak trees, these little saplings, and cut these down and make walking sticks out of them. And does good for stuff like that so far, chopping little pieces of kindling, different things that you do with a knife like this. I suppose just looking at the knife that they had in mind for this to be a tactical knife and you can usually tell that by the amount of taper that the blade has towards the point here doesn't have a whole lot plus it has so what looks like a double edge across the top that you could sharpen I don't think I would ever do that if it didn't come from the factory that way but it's a pretty solid knife so far and uh, I doubt I'll ever get in a knife fight. And if I do, hopefully I have my K-Bar or my M3 or something like that around. This thing seems to be a good knife so far. Of course, I want to come back in a year or so and give another estimate on how good I think it's doing. But uh, so far, it's doing real good. And uh, I really like it. I really like the sheath. It has molly attachments on the back of it. I can wear it sideways wear it straight up and down like I'm doing it now. I can wear it across my back, which I really like. Um, just a real versatile setup for not a whole lot of money. And I think uh, so far it's definitely worth $50. Uh, we'll, like I say, we'll take a look at it again in about a year and see how that goes. You're making these walking sticks, you peeling the bark off of these oak saplings. They leave this red, reddish bark underneath. You want to get as much of that off as possible because eventually it's going to come off anyway. And as it dries, you can see how it kind of how it kind of splinters up. It's not really splinters, but just the way it peels out like that. I've left it on there a couple of different times because it looked neat. But when it dries out, it just tends to peel out like that. It'll, you'll come out one day and have to pull that one off and then
come out the next day and have to pull that one off. It just, the more of it you get off, the less trouble you'll have later.